We love poetry here at Love Reading for Kids. And to celebrate the launch of our 2020 Children's Poetry Prize, we are delighted to present you with a poetry workshop with our friend, award-winning poet, Joshua Siegel. Watch, learn, enjoy, create and submit your poem when you're ready. Good luck. Hello there, uh, my name is Joshua Siegel and I am a poet. That is my real life professional job. Uh, when I was young uh, and someone asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I never would have thought uh, that being a poet was um, any kind of job that anyone does. But I am a poet, believe it or not. That's my job. And I make my living, by and large, uh, visiting schools. I visit hundreds of, I visited hundreds of schools. Um, and, and I like to go around schools all around the UK and beyond. I've travelled around the world as well. And when I visit schools, one of my favourite things to do is to run poetry workshops where I show children and sometimes adults as well how to write poems. So what I'm going to do for you today is essentially exactly the same as the kind of thing I do when I visit schools. I am going to give you a taste of the kinds of poetry writing workshops that I do. So I'm going to lead you through some activities. Um, there are going to be the, the actual poem uh, you're not going to write um, until a little bit later. Uh, the analogy I always give when it comes to poetry writing, it's a little bit, I think, like baking a cake. You don't start by putting the cake in the oven. What you start by doing is is finding out what ingredients you need and gathering together those ingredients. So that's what we're going to do. And with that in mind, uh, the theme of today's poetry workshop is going to be food, different types of food. I always think it's important if you want to be a writer or a poet to write about things that you find interesting. And there's not a single person alive um, who doesn't need and enjoy food. Maybe there's one or two. Um, I've yet to meet them. So I'd like you to take a minute uh, to think of your favourite food and to make this activity a little bit more um, unique, a little bit more interesting, I'm going to ask you to think for a minute about your favourite type of healthy food. And the reason I say healthy food is because I've, um, I learned from my mistakes, basically. And when I started doing this workshop, um, people came out with uh, chicken, chips, burgers, pizza. Um, and the poems got quite repetitive and a little bit boring. So I'm going to ask you as a challenge to think of your favourite type of healthy food. And if you want to pause the video um, for a minute or so, please feel free to pause the video um, while you think of your favourite type of healthy food. Right, and the next thing I'd like you to do, once you've thought of your food, I'd like you to, to get a, a piece of paper and a pencil. You might want to pause the video again while you uh, get those items. And in the middle of the piece of paper, I'd like you to draw a picture of your favourite type of healthy food. Now, this is not an art lesson, uh, and I'm a very bad illustrator, so I, I don't care what it looks like. Uh, but you're just going to start to gather your ideas together by drawing a picture. You can pause the video at any time while you do this. Right, so once you've got your picture, around the picture, you are going to write, uh, we're going to start to gather together our poetry writing ingredients. And what you're going to do, you're going to jot down any words, lines, phrases, metaphors, similes, sentences, adjectives, anything, any idea that comes into your mind when you think of your food. So if you're doing a carrot, you might write orange, hard, long, looks like a stick, um, comes from the ground. Uh, if you're doing, um, one of my favourite foods is a type of quite rare fruit uh, called a lychee, which comes from a country called China. And it's quite, so I might write the word mysterious. I might write that it's got a spiky skin. Um, and it's important for this activity, one of the important things that I would like you to do is to really have a think about using your five senses. Your five senses are five of your most important poetry writing ingredients. I'm going to come back to this analogy of ingredients uh, when it comes to poetry. So think about what your food looks like, um, what it sounds like. So when you're uh, eating it, does it make a sound? What it feels like, you can imagine holding it up to your face or touching it with your fingers. 
um, I can't remember what the other sense is, it's quite hard to think. Um, what, what, a smell, use your sense of smell. Uh, um, you can be as poetic, uh, as weird as you like. It smells like a rainbow in my nostrils. Um, whatever comes into your mind, and the aim, um, you should spend probably about five minutes doing this. So again, feel free to pause the video at any time you like. Uh, so it should take about five minutes. And by the end of this activity, uh, your page should be filled up with words, phrases uh, and ingredients that you are going to use for your poem. So feel free to pause the video for five minutes while you start to gather together all of those words, ideas, phrases, while you start to gather together all of those poetry writing ingredients. Right, so uh, you should have those ingredients in front of you. And the trick now is to turn those ingredients into a poem. So the analogy uh, 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 that I would like to use at this point, you, you, you need a recipe. So you've got these ingredients. How are you going to turn them into a poem? And I'm going to give you an idea, a bit like a bonfire, a pile of, a pile of twigs just needs a spark to set them alight. So I'm going to give you an idea. And you, this, this is going to sound very strange. Poets can be quite strange people. So this is going to sound very strange. What I would like you to do, what we're going to do, is write a love poem. But before you start thinking, oh, disgusting, love poem, don't want to do that. Before you start thinking these things, it's going to be a weird poem, uh, a weird love poem. It's not going to be a normal love poem. You are going to write a love poem to your food. That's called personification. You're taking your, something that's not a person and you're talking about it as though it is a person. And to help you on your way, uh, I am going to read you a poem. This book is called I Don't Like Poetry and it's published by Bloomsbury. This was my first poetry book that came out in 2016. So I'm going to read you a poem called Love Letter to a Lychee. So in this poem, remember I mentioned the lychee type of fruit earlier. In this poem, I'm talking to my lychee. And what you're going to do at home, what you're going to do is listen very carefully. Listen to the words, the phrases that I use. And your poetry writing task is basically going to be to write something similar. You'll notice that this poem does not rhyme. It's very important. Poems don't have to rhyme. So what I'm going to do uh, now, you've got all your poetry writing ingredients. I'm going to read you love letter to a lychee and you're going to have a go at writing your own love poem. And it goes like this. Oh, lychee, I love you so. Your spiky skin hides the wonderful sweet flesh within like a mysterious cloak covering many secrets. When I put you in my mouth, I taste laughter and joy. Oh, lychee, you smell like a little piece of heaven. I want to roll in a bath with you and to sleep in a bed made out of your devilish, delightful deliciousness. When I'm with you, I feel like the world is a place of rainbows and honey. All other fruit is nothing compared to you. Oh, lychee, I love every inch of you. But your heart is made of stone. So that was Love Letter to a Lychee from my book, I Don't Like Poetry. You'll notice a couple of things about that poem. Um, feel free, by the way, to rewind the video to listen to the poem again. If you do want to listen to the poem again, I would advise you to listen to the times in the poem when I use techniques such as alliteration. I use repetition. I repeated the phrase, oh, lychee. And I always suggest in my workshops that re if you're stuck uh, for a poem, repetition is always a really useful technique to use. So you can start with a phrase that you want to repeat. It might be, oh, strawberry. It might be, oh, cracker. It might be, oh, banana. It could be anything you like, but you can use that O oh, as a kind of hook to hang your poem on. So listen to that poem again. And your challenge, your poetry writing challenge is to think of a similar poem uh, using your own ingredients and to write a love poem to your food. And what I'd like you to do, if you want, um, I do have a website, www 
joshuasegal.co.uk. That's S-E-I-G-A-L, joshuasegal.co.uk. Find my contact details, send me your poems. I'd love to put them up on my blog. I'd love to show them um, to as many people as possible. And thank you so much for uh, taking part in my first ever video virtual poetry writing workshop. Have a good day. So I'd just like to say a big thank you for taking part in today's poetry writing workshop. I hope you had a fantastic time producing your masterpieces. And I'd just like to remind you of the fantastic uh, poetry writing competition that's taking place uh, for National Poetry Day. And the winner of the competition, the person who writes the winning poem, will receive a visit to their school from none other than award-winning poet, Joshua Siegel. And they will also, for their school, receive a batch of £250 worth of books, which is really exciting. And both the winner and the runner-up will receive a trophy, a certificate, and some books courtesy of um, Bloomsbury, uh, Bloomsbury Kids Publishers, and they will also receive an annual subscription to the gorgeous children's Scoop magazine, which will really be fantastic. And both the winning and the commended poets will be published on the Love Reading for Kids and the Love Reading for Schools website. So that will be really, really fantastic. Um, and I really, really look forward to seeing some of your poetry writing masterpieces. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.